West Pokot County residents have given area governor Professor John Lonyangapo a 14 days ultimatum to explain the controversial purchase of 20,000 bags of maize that has kicked a storm within the region. The procurement process of the cereals has been criticized allegedly for denying locals the opportunity to sell their produce to Kacheliba National Cereals and Produce Board. <laughs> According to former Kiwawa Ward MCA Joshua Chumel, the county government failed to follow procurement laws in stocking the National Cereals and Produce Board. The criticism levied on Governor Professor John Lonyangapo has been met with defense from his supporters who held peaceful demonstrations in support of the current county government. Tumelua pia maindi, yenye kuna watu hapa na lete drama, baka hata wanambia watu wengi, ati Lonyangapo amelete maindi yake kwa sto na kupelega kajaliba. Kama ujui Lonyangapo na ile manifesto raya walipitisha juzi, please tafuta. Tulisema tutanua maindi strategic rain reserve maindi ya kuweka. Wakati njai tetembelea watu kwanzia mwezo wa nene, mwezo wa tano, mwezo wa sita, mwezo wa saba, at least tuwe na akipa kidogo. Meanwhile, Gusei region self-help groups are mobilizing youths to engage in agribusiness as the country recovers from effects of prolonged political campaigns. Kisi Youth Bunga Sako Chairman Hezbon Moronya says Kenyans ought to forget their political differences and engage in nation building. We are beyond elections. We were here to discuss on how we can, we as the young people can move our country forward with the peace in our mind. We have also come up with a partnership on uh, agribusiness with our former aspirant women rep uh, on how to assist the young people to come up with a agribusiness uh, project within the circle so that they can uh, boost their income generating activities. A total of 28 value addition machines have been donated to the groups in Kisi County. Kevin Washera, Lunchtime News.